You get, you get all your stuff in a box and you leave. What am I gonna do, go find another career, go start another job? Go support my family on something else? You know what, you can't get rid of me. Cause I quit! You all right, Terry? What do you want, Ted? I wanna make sure that you're Just get out of here! <sighs> Calm down, Terry. Just listen to the radio. Welcome back to the show. If you're just tuning in, I'm sitting here with my host, Kelly, and the lucky winner of the Mega Millions Lottery, Fred Coughlin, who's just won $137 million. Ooh, wow, that is a lot of money. Tell us, Fred, what you gonna do with all that cheddar? Oh boy, yeah, good question. Uh, I may uh, buy a new pair of boots or uh, you would a new lawnmower. We <laughs> are so happy for you. That was my job, man. <laughs> for quality assurance and training purposes. For English, press 1. Para Español o Prima 2. Hello, Terry. I understand you're looking for a job. Um... How did... Terry, is there trouble with our connection? Is this Terry Thompson who's been let go from the prestigious C.P. Walker investment firm? How was that TV dinner, by the way? A little toasty? How, how, do you, how do you know all that? Well, it's in your profile. What profile? I didn't send you anything. I'm sensing a little tension in your voice, Terry. Should I transfer you to another department? A little tension in my voice? I'm talking to a stranger on a phone that I found in the wall. Because you wanted a job, right? You see, Terry, people don't call this number by accident. You received the flyer, is that correct? Yeah. Then you're just the man for the job. Are you interested or not? Are there any benefits? <laughs> oh, Terry, Terry. Of course there are. Okay. Let's say I did take the job. What exactly would I have to be doing? Yeah. Hello, Terry. Did you get it? Yeah, I've... Yeah, I've got it. Well, good. I just have a few protocol questions I need to go over first. 
Yeah, of course. Did anyone see you? No, no, nobody saw me. Did you wear a mask? Yes, I wore a mask. Dress in all black? Yeah, I'm in all black. And lastly, did you wear gloves? Yeah. All righty. Well, that should about wrap Just real quick, real quick. Um, what would, what would happen if I didn't wear gloves? Well, if you weren't wearing gloves, they would dust the scene for fingerprints, find you incriminating, and charge you for, let's see here, drug smuggling, no, human trafficking, no, ah, yes, here it is, espionage. Espionage? You see, Terry, what's inside that bag you've stolen is an encrypted hard drive carrying confidential government files. And, as you know, the government doesn't like it when you steal their things. It's very frowned upon. Good thing you were wearing gloves. Am I right? <sighs> Terry, are you okay? Uh, I, I'm feeling a little, feeling a little sick. That's perfectly normal. Let's just set you up with the next job. It's at a building with five points. They call it the Pentagon. You may have heard of it. Justin, Kelly, you've got to hear this. This is breaking news. A nationwide manhunt is underway for a small little Caucasian guy. He's apparently stolen some very important information from the government. And get this, his fingerprints are all over the crime scene. Apparently, he didn't wear gloves. So unprofessional. I mean, come on. If you're gonna commit an act of espionage, everyone knows You've, You've got, got to, to wear, wear gloves. gloves. You believe this guy's such an amateur. No, 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 no